I'm Seth. And I'm Drew. And, and this, this is... Nerd Beating the Nerd. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Nerd Leading the Nerd. And we are playing Final Turf. Uh, rival based... Turf. Oh, right. Rival Turf, not Final Turf. I'm thinking of Final Justice, uh, which is a Jodan Baker movie that I watched last night. Um, if you don't know who Jodan Baker is, if you've ever seen Goldeneye, he's the guy that gives James Bond the plane, and uh, he takes his car at one point. Uh, but Jodan Baker was a sort of spy uh, of his own right in the B-movie scene. So, fun fact for all of you out there that don't watch movies that are not great. <laughs> uh, Goldeneye is, is a phenomenal movie, though. I, that is, I'm not going to say it's it's my favorite James Bond film, but it is it is up there for sure. What is your favorite James Bond movie? It, it's tough because I here's the thing, man. I love the Sean Connery James Bonds because that's classic James. Like that is the the development of the character. Roger Moore. I liked his stuff when I was a kid, and then watching it older, I'm like, dude, this guy's kind of like pervy and creepy. So less of a fan of Roger Moore. Timothy Dalton, though, like he only had two uh, James Bond films. I love both of them, but I also like Timothy Dalton. Um, if you were an actor, would you want to be James Bond, or do you think it like I'm not typecasts British. you? Yeah, um, no, I. I'm not British, so I wouldn't I wouldn't go out for that. Like, if, for example, you know, if someone was like, "Hey, what's the equivalency in America?" It would be Ethan Hunt of Mission Impossible. Yeah. But I, I I don't think I can see anyone outside of uh, Tom Cruise being that character, um, at least for the foreseeable future. You know what I mean? Like, he does. Yeah, they didn't jump stunts. around with that character the way they did with Bond. No, and it there's I mean there's less. I mean James Bond has been around for over 50 years. That character is. I maybe 15, maybe 20 years old, you know? Um, no, it's way older than that. I mean, it was in the 90s. The well, first Mission Impossible was in the 90s, right? <sighs> yeah, I want to say. Remember. And there was a show previously to that, but... Um, oh, there was? I did not know that. I know James Bond is based on a book. Or yeah, books. Yeah, uh, by, by, by Mr. Broccoli. Um, the Broccoli family. Uh, yeah, there was a show, and it had... Oh, God. Peter Graves, I think, was in it. Um, also a big fan of Peter Graves. Just a great voice, you know? He was, uh, if you recall, oh, uh, wow. Um, Men in Black 2? When they go to the video store to find, to check out a video, and uh, David Cross is there, and he's like, oh, you think I'm paranoid now? And then they watch the video, and he's like, the light of Zartha and it explains the whole thing. That's yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I think that's Peter Graves. Ah, man. No, dude, I'm, that body I'm slam confused. really gets you. Yeah, well, it got a lot of body, you know. The more body you have, the more the slam is effective. They slammed each other. The big boys got slammed. <laughs> uh, wham, slam, thank you, ham. Oh, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think I'm going to be done before my credits, or no, I mean like my credits are gonna run out before I can beat this game, which is sad because yeah. this is the farthest I've ever gotten. Well, I mean, uh, there that's that's an that's an admirable, um, you know, position to be in. You know what I mean? And that's yeah. I'm happy to have played that. this. I'm yeah. happy to have replayed this. It's a far cry from. We could play that too. It, yeah, it, but this is far different than playing Mario. Like this is yeah. just. Still what was that? violence, but different. Yeah. What was that one game? It's a side scroller like this, but it's fantasy. And you and it's like the quintessential, like you have like a dwarf, there's like a human kind of Conan character. Gauntlet Legends? Gauntlet? It's a something? it's a classic NES game, I wanna say. Hmm. But I, yeah, we need to look that up because that was real I would love to play that game. Okay. Yeah, I mean I'd be fine. That's with another Wizards and of Waverly Place. I want to I want to say that it was also an arcade game first. Probably. Yeah. I mean, especially anything that has this style, I am led to believe that it was an arcade game first and then ported over probably with with a few exceptions once you get a little bit later. Obviously, you know, the the newer Mortal Kombat games, you know, there's 
I don't think there's arcade cabinets for those out at Dave and Buster's, but it has been years since I've been to a Dave and Buster's. I hate it. I don't well, like I don't like modern arcades to be honest with you. Hate me in the comments if you want, but I just I don't like it. I don't appreciate like newer arcade stuff. I don't know. Oh, what the So, okay, a beefcake. Um yeah. see, I I don't have a problem with it. I the only thing that that bothers me though is at one point Dave and Buster's had a cutoff and you had to be 21 or older after like seven o'clock. And so, you know, that was the best time to go as an adult and play because you weren't trying to fight a child to play whatever you wanted to. Now it's anybody, anytime. And, you know, then there's a lot of people that are like, well, you know, I, I, but I want to enjoy this and I, I have to bring my kids. And it's like, you really don't have to, but you know, whatever, I get it, it's games. That's what people think are for kids. But yeah, man, I mean, and I'm hoping for, I don't know, maybe something in my area to pop up as like, you know, an adult arcade. There is, I don't know, but it's, it is for everyone. It's like a brewery that has some arcade cabinets and some pinball machines, which I enjoyed. I've, I've gone there a few times and I've enjoyed myself. Yeah, dude, this is this is rough, man. Yeah, he can get you in four hits. I'm, I'm kind of paying attention to his. Like, is this the is that the boss? Yeah. Oh, OK. He's All definitely right. the hardest boss so far. That kick. I mean, yeah, he really is, gets you with that. Rough, dude. And his, you're not, and his crew cut. Does he have a mask on or something? I mean, he's... Oh, he's just got an ugly face. That's what it is. He's definitely got a reach, too, with that kick. Yeah. Well, he's definitely definitely high kicking like he's on a chorus line, dude. I mean, this this guy, he missed his uh, his calling, dude. Like, he needs to be trying out for, uh, you know, dance lines, man. Like, that's... He's... Look at... I mean, he's just... Look at that. Look at that. He's even dabbing before dabbing was a thing. I got to get him. Oh, oh, it's just, oh, oh. I'm dead. I mean, this is the end of yeah. the game. Like, uh, this is my last. That's your last dude. This is it. This is for all the Jenna marbles. Oh, man. Come on. I got to beat this guy. Yeah, dude. If I just, oh, no, oh, he's going to body slam he's, me. Yeah, he's got the grip. Oh, you're still you're still in it though. You're still in it. Um, maybe not maybe not for long. So that's captain. Okay, I got him. I got him. I beat the captain. Oh, nice, dude. man. That is freaking brutal town. That is that is epic. That is that is excellent. And now we're going to the southern port. So this is the second to last. Yeah, I think uh, it's gonna world. I mean, they gave me full health, but they did not. I mean, I'm completely out of lives. Like, so yeah. this is it. This is, I'm not, I'm not playing it safe either. Like I'm going to fight. I'm going down swinging. swinging. I'm going to die standing up. Yeah. You know, now that the color has kind of changed on, on these dudes, the skinny dudes, they, uh, they're very reminiscent of zombies, you know, to me, you know what I mean? Like, you can easily recolor and reskin those uh, those same frameworks and just throw them in a Night of the Living Dead version of this. And, Are you gonna uh, watch that this year? Um, I don't know. There's there's a lot of spooky movies that I still haven't seen. I still haven't seen Trick or Treat, and I I want to give that a go. So that's the thing, man. I don't always watch the same stuff. Like, I think last year I did the Child's Play movies. I'm not doing those again this year. Because, you know, I just watched it last year and I remember them well. Uh, I might, I don't know, I don't I don't think I did the Conjuring films last year. And those are good, dude. I, I, those I are good, they're those. scary. Yeah. Uh, I was I was a little disappointed with um, The Nun, which is like the spinoff or whatever from it. And I, I think it was just, I don't know. Um, oh, dude, I did watch The Pope's Exorcist the other day with um, Russell Crowe. And I, honest to God, I walked into that kind of like, this is not going to be my thing. And, uh, dude, it was good. I really enjoyed myself. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was good, man. I, I, I will definitely, that'll be, it, I mean, it's, it's kind of, you know, possession. So it's like kind of spooky movie adjacent, but, uh, yeah, that'll definitely go in the rotation for sure. What does EX mean? Excuse my a great moi? aunt Tessie. Oh, uh, dude, you didn't even make the top. I know. <laughs> That's third. 
That sucks. But uh, all yeah. right, that might be a short episode, but that's Jellico. Uh, that's the end of Rival Turf. I did my best. I really tried. Let me know if you guys think I'm trash at <laughs> beat 'em up games. If you did enjoy it in some way, shape, or form, hit the subscribe button. Yeah. Helps the channel grow. Helps other people join this family that we're trying to create here at Nerd Leading the Nerd. Also, if you want to see us struggle through this for a couple more episodes to try to get to the end, we have no problem doing that. With all that being said, thanks for being here. And don't forget to come back soon. Because we'll be waiting. <laughs>